So today I'm going to demonstrate how to do um, a cute teddy bear. Now this is a design that I love because I think with these sweet faces like his, it really, really works well. So I'm going to start off with the color that he told me about. It's like a golden brown, right? This color is um, an interference bronze, and I love it because I think I said this before when I did Rudolph. It's not quite brown. It's more of like a golden brown, like he told me before. And I'm going to use my chisel brush. I'm just loading my chisel brush. Some people prefer to sponge. I really like to use this brush because I find it a lot easier. So because he has a little booboo on his head, he got hurt, right? He tripped. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by making two circles over the forehead. And I'm going to just try to stay a little bit away from his band-aid so that I don't interfere with it. And I'm just going to kind of brush up some more color in the middle of the forehead. And I'm going to bring it around. Can you turn your head a little bit that way? I'm going to bring it around to the bottom. Again, around, and I'm going to dip it down underneath the chin so that you see this curve here. Now I'm just going to fill it in a little bit. on this side. So turn a little bit towards the other way for me. Look at that wall. Again, I'm using my chisel brush to just come around the face, round it. Once you get to the edge of the lip, just kind of bring it down again. And I'm just going to color it in. And we'll finish coloring it in a minute. Along the nose bridge and everything. Now what I'm going to do for the muzzle area of the teddy bear is I'm going to use kind of like an okra brown or an okra yellow, a lighter color. You could even do this with your gold. What I'm going to do is just cover, look to the front of it, thank you. From the edge of the nose, I'm just going to round it out and fill it in. And again. Round it out and fill in. You're being so good. So very good. And I'm going to bring that right underneath the mouth area right here. So that I'm going to get a nice roundness. So now I'm just going to use my... You have to sneeze? You can breathe, I promise. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is just finish coloring in this area. Close your eyes for me. I'm just going to finish coloring it in with this bronze. Now when I go around this, this uh, ochre color, I'm just going to kind of gently blend it into place so that I don't have so many hard edges. Again, I'm going to just fill in. Thank you. So now that I have it filled in, I know it on the screen, if you can look right at the screen, the camera, you can smile, you can breathe out of your mouth, I promise. Um, with this area, I know it's hard to see that lighter yellow, but once we blend it, you'll see. All right, so I'm just going to use a little bit of pink to blend in the ears. So I'm just going to make kind of like a swoop in there and a swoop in there and gently just blend it out. And that's just for the inside of the ears. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create the rest of my teddy bear face. The key to making a really cute teddy bear is making a nice round nose. So I'm going to make a nice, large, round, black nose. You ready? Not going to tickle too much. So I start out on the nose, and I'm just going to make a nice, larger than normal. This is larger than I would do for my tiger or my cat or anything like that. So you want to just make sure that you get a nice, round nose. Then, right underneath, the nose, 
I'm going to start right underneath it and make a line connecting to the lip. Right here. And you don't want that line super, super thick. Can you see that line? <laughs> Just a little. Then, from the tip, the corner of the nostril, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create the hair and just bring it all down by making a series of small lines, just almost like flicks. I'm going to make dots inside of the muzzle. And I'm going to make, so what I did is I rounded the mouth. Right on top of his eyebrows, I'm going to make two, look like commas almost. Those are going to be his eyebrows. And now I'm going to create this same hair-like effect, hair-like effect all around the face. So I'm going to just do my flicks up there. Now smaller ones around his ear, kind of give it a comma, turn a little bit that way. Thank you. Again, I'm just going to make these flicks all around the face. And if you could turn a little bit towards me. Thank you. I'm going to keep them going all around. And they don't have to be perfect, but just make sure that they're round and they're not totally vertical. You see how I'm using his cheekbone and rounding it? You don't really want any straight lines on the face because the face is round. Okay, the little teddy bear. Next thing I'm going to do is just add a tad bit of red blush to his cheeks. He's so cute. Just a little bit a little bit of red. This is my Krylon Youth Red Blush. And it kind of just gives it that appearance that you're blushing. You okay? <laughs> it's a good. Alright. And to finish it off, I'm just going to outline the lip and bring it up. So at the bottom of the lip, I'm going to outline it in black. And this is not great for all kids. For him, since he's my favorite model, he lets me demo anything. But some kids are not comfortable with that. So I'm going to bring it up on both sides. And just make him look like he's smiling. <laughs> I'm going to fill it in just a little bit more in where it was. Now going to just give it that very, very, very faint white highlight on the nose, just to kind of, and in the ear, just kind of this little white here, and a little white here, and of course, just a little bit of glitter, and he will be good to go. You want to look in the mirror? See how cool you look and how cute you look and then you got to wave to everybody? You like it? Oh my gosh, you look so cute. Thanks for joining me again. Okay, I'm going to stop it. <laughs>